Hey guys, so I just woke up. I'm gonna be doing my makeup with you guys. Um, I'm actually gonna go uni, but then I'm gonna go out probably, so I have time to film and I wanna make sure I have a video up for you guys. So yeah, I'm just gonna do, watch me do my makeup number three. I've already done two in the past and you guys seem to like it, so I thought why not do a third one. It's kind of like a get ready with me. I'm just gonna use a bit of my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. Then for foundation today, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in number 8. Get a good shake. Don't want to put too much because I'm not. I'm just going to like eat out and stuff, like not doing anything special there. So. I mean, you can wear full on. I probably will end up wearing full on, but I just don't want to look too much, you know, because. I feel a bit funny sometimes when I wear like a full face to uni. Just really like buffing this foundation in. And for my eyebrows today, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in Blackest Brown. I'm now going to use my e.l.f. brow gel in shade dark just to set my brows in place. Okay, it does look a bit messy but I will carve them out in a bit. The next I'm going to use a bit of my Shot Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand. Not too much. This one's running out. Next, I'm going to use a bit of my uh, Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. Just brushing the excess off. I, so I was contacted by 3 Ina Cosmetics recently and they sent me some of their makeup range. So I'm going to be using their eyeshadow, this is their duo eyeshadow in 605 and I'm just going to use the peachy shade I'm just going to do like a light wash all over the lid I'm just going to grab some like brown colours from my Makeup Revolution Flawless 4 palette put this on the side And a bit under as well. I'm also going to take a little tiny brush and go in with like that really dark brown here. Nothing too much. You can go underneath as well. This is like a really like, rough eye look. So I was recently sent uh, the Urban Decay Trouble Maker Mascara. Do you know when I uh, held this, the packaging super sturdy. Like most sturdiest packaging I've had in a mascara. It's so stunning. Like the bottle's very unique. So it says it's a. So it says it makes your lashes super fat, and that's what I like. It says on the front, super fat, super long, sex proof mascara. I'm not sure about the sex proof, but I will not be testing that today. But <laughs> I have seen other YouTubers test it out, so you can feel free to test that out because I'm not going to be doing that today. It says stir, stir up trouble with 13.7 times the lash volume. So that, that's very precise, but anyways, we'll see if this gives add some volume. Because the brush is very like unique. I've never seen a brush like this. That's what the brush looks like. Yeah, the, the um, wand has these really long spikes that are very stiff. It's not like you can really like push in the roots like I normally do that, that really hurt. So you just need to be a bit careful with this one. I mean, so far, so, so far it's actually quite nice. I'm on the lower lashes. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I might put some on in a bit. But so far I'm actually really happy, like the formula feels very like feather light, feather, feather light soft, if that's even the saying, but it's just lightweight and it's not weighing my lashes down and it's very buildable. Um, this is what it looks like, 
I mean, I'm not mad at that. That's really, really nice. It's definitely given volume at the roots and some length as well. I feel like the only thing I have to say is that I just need to be a bit careful with the bristles because one side has these really long spiky bristles and they're very stiff and I feel like I can really poke my eye and like I've poked this eye already. Um, but I feel like with time I'll get used to it. So yeah, I'm actually really, really happy with this. This will be launching on the 28th and will be retailing for around 19 50 or £20. So it's actually not bad for a big chunky mascara like this. For bronzer today, I'm going to be using my Nip and Fab Contour Palette. I like to use... I'm going to use this colour today. For highlighter, I'm going to be using my Gilded Honey by Laura Geller. It's just stunning. Sometimes I like to go a bit overboard with my highlighter. And then I'm going to use my Glam Glow Glow Setter Setting Spray. I really, really, really like this setting spray. It's just like a really fine mist. So the mascara, once it's fully dry, it's hard to build up, but you do have a lot of time to build up once you're applying it. Like you can put two or three layers if you want whilst you're applying it, but once you leave it and let it dry, it's a bit harder to build up. But I don't mind that. Like I'm quite happy with like the result of this. I really like it. Um, and now onto lips, I'm gonna use my MAC Lip Pencil in Spice. And then I'm going to be using my Morale Cosmetics lipstick in Bourbon Souffle. So yeah, that's the final look guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Everyone's starting to wake up and make you noise so it's time for me to go. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this watch me do my makeup number 3 video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I'll make sure to do more, um, subscribe if you're new to my channel, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in tomorrow's video, bye!